Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. And today I wanted to show you another doll that's in my collection. And uh, these are antique German dolls. I'm going to show you. This one's a Heinrich Handwerk doll. This particular one was made by J.D. Kessner in Germany. This one's about 1880 to 1890. This one over here is about 1890. And this one over here is another German doll of about 1890 to about 1910. And so what I want to show you is how exquisite this antique doll's costume is. Now, they made him what's known as a regional doll or an ethnic doll. And as you can see, he's wearing his little Scottish outfit and it has a little kilt. It's almost in miniature scale of the real thing. And you can see it has a little velvet little jacket. He has a little bow tie. He has his plaid socks and shoes and his little tam. And that's absolutely fascinating. Now, um, I don't know who made him. I'm trying to figure it out. Now, he was probably made by a company by Rec named Recknagel or Gebruda Nock, Gebruda Kunlens, or probably Armand Marseille or Hubeck. I'm not sure. Now, a way to tell who made your antique doll is by removing the wig and sometimes behind and underneath the wig will be some information. Now, all I get is Germany. By the way, I stuffed the inside of his head with paper towels because he has sleep glass eyes, and that actually protects the glass eyes from falling out and breaking. So on the back, it just says Germany, and I believe the insignia of the company would be below this little collar, and I don't want to mess with it because if you mess with these things, especially these old clothes, they're so old and weather-worn, that they'll end up tearing and ripping. So I'm not going to mess with that. I'd rather just say he's just a German doll. And so he's great. Now he has a jointed composition body. So his little arms swivel and move. His legs move as well. And uh, let's see, what is he wearing under his kilt? Look, he's even got shorts. See, the Germans <laughs> never, ever, ever left a stone unturned. So, uh, yep, he's even got underwear. So that's uh, quite amazing how they did this in miniature scale. Now, a lot of these dolls were made for certain reasons. And one of the reasons being this was something that you would take back as a souvenir if you went on a trip to Europe. So, for example, the Germans made a lot of ethnic dolls for different countries and dressed them uh, according to which country they shipped them to. So this doll could have been uh, in Scotland and somebody traveled all the way to Scotland and brought this doll back to America. And uh, these ethnic dolls also, besides being souvenirs, were also used by teachers as teaching aids for their students to show the students what people from other countries looked like. So um, not only could they be souvenirs, they also could be teaching um, symbols of the day, showing children all different ethnicities. And so he has beautiful blue glass sleep eyes, he has upper and lower hand-painted lashes. He has little one-stroke eyebrows. And he has an open mouth with inserted little porcelain teeth. And again, his outfit is just fabulous. I love seeing these old dolls now. That's another thing. You generally don't see these old antique dolls with their original costumes. They uh, go missing over the years. So when you see that, that's fantastic. Now, I did another video showing you this antique Heinrich Handwerk regional ethnic costume doll as well. So you can see here's another example. I don't know what country this signifies, but um, she's um, also another souvenir or teaching aid doll. And so to have these two in my collection, all original with their original human hair wigs is fascinating. By the way, this is human hair. A lot of people get creeped out by that, but women used to sell their hair <laughs> to toy makers for dolls. And that wasn't uncommon. And so once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I'll be uploading more interesting videos shortly showing you all the different histories of different kinds of antiques. So long.